Hi, welcome to our Friday Facebook Live. Woo! With Finally, 12 Maureen, minutes later. Maureen Parnelson and my bro brother, 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 Brian. Yay, finally we got it. God Took us a while, but we finally got it. How he or anyone else puts up with me, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, first, I, two things. You do this for six months. Every Friday we do it for six months, and it's the same thing. And every single time you say, where is that button? Where is it? And it's always in the same spot. You never get it. And number um, two, where did you get those uh, headphones? And um, okay, so today I did my taping for my KJOY radio show called and Long how, Island Matchmaker. And that how late been, were you for that one? Oh, a half hour. They got, they <laughs> have to hate me on KJOY. That, first of all, they're so nice though, and they treated me like a queen. I mean, I love them, love them. But I was a half hour late. But again, I couldn't, it could not be helped because I was with my CRM marketing people before and they delayed me. So afterwards, I went to the $5 store and I spent like $150 buying heart shape sunglasses. Our social media manager said that heart shape sunglasses are in style. I got these. I got these. Okay. Then I got these. So look at how oh, wrong year. Look at how <laughs> official look at how official I am. Oh my god, I feel like a telemarketer. Hello, how many pieces of that jewelry would you like today? Yes, they're in sterling silver. They're on sale forty nine ninety five or two four sixty. How many can I get you? Okay, and I tried this and this prior, but apparently this is only compatible with phones and not to a laptop. Yeah. So, and, and, and what that set you back? Hundred and fifty. Oh, everything was like five five dollars each. I was oh, like God. grabbing things like crazy. Oh, brother! Oh, I wish I could yeah. just show you everything, all my fantastic finds. So, um, I'm dying. Get what you pay for. Well, so, come on. I, I do look official, right? Well, uh, yeah. No? Maybe, you know, I think wireless now is the way to go. But wireless, wireless, compatible to phones. Yeah, but it's not wireless. You got a big wire dangling from you. Yes, this isn't because this luckily plugs into my laptop. These two are wireless, but it's not compatible to a laptop, only to my phone. So, too complicado for Maureen. Anyway, so as everyone knows, I took our sister Jerry for her birthday to Mohican Sun. And our whole family loves gambling, and you know, it, it was just not so Peter. Much fun. Not Peter. Oh, yeah. I talked to I talked to him yesterday, and I told him I lost uh, over two thousand dollars at the casino, and he told me I thought it was twenty seven hundred dollars. <laughs> I said over two thousand. Right, right. And he said that that would send him um, way over the edge. And he goes, why don't why don't you just set yourself a limit? Just say, all right, I have five hundred dollars. dollars. Yeah, I think my limit was three thousand. <laughs> set yourself a limit of five hundred. Once you spend it, that's it. Yeah, oh that's not it. Because once I spend that money, I I say, eh, I can go for another thousand. And I go to the cash machine and I take it out of my hard earned my my hard earned savings. And I do or it. your hard-earned, oh, today's uh, payday at MTN Matchmaking. Remind oh, me, good. please. We have to get it in before 5 o'clock. Um, so I pulled a dad, mm. whereas I did my roulette, was not happy about it. 
and I will not discuss it, but I'm very angry at the, well, not that I'm angry, but the Mohican Sun does not have the roulette tables that I like. I, I have to go to Atlantic City for that. What but, do you mean that you like? How are they different? To, well, first of all, two, two sets of tables, $25 limit and 50 Yeah, that's Come what on. they are now. Yeah, that's what and, they are. Oh, but I like to do just the color black and go for a streak. And then once I start building up money, then I'll put the numbers on six, eight, my favorite numbers, blah, blah, blah. Right. And I always, you know, either win or end up kind of even. So, you know, I just put my $100 bill down, didn't know how much the table was <laughs> because before, because I told her I just do the colors, four blank and chips. So I'm like, okay, four reds in a row. I got up. Oh. The biggest, I know, I know, oh. the biggest puff. And so I went over, mm, I went over to where Jerry was doing the slots and I put in $20 and I ended up winning 150. Oh so good, I you got that money back. It. Well, I pulled the dad. Done! I won the $150! <laughs> Done! It's, yeah. it's 9.30 it. in the morning. Done! Done. But then, <laughs> then we went shopping. Oh, see, that's where you and I are different. Uh, my casino escapades are 24 hour casino. We have no time for anything else. We have to f force ourselves to stop to eat. Do you see this though? Yeah. For real. It's not real. Why, why do you buy, why do you buy that? Because I love it and it makes me feel feel oh. fantastic fantastic oh god <sighs> okay so uh, um, lou, lou, lou is saying hello and leah hey. is um hey. saying hello. hello leah so oh and then uh, jerry and i we had a million funny stories as we always do and um she has officially said she will not She's going to have to put a stop to me working until midnight every night. You know, again, give or take a few hours here and there. But still, uh, and Brian does it with me, basically, almost the whole time. But our midnight is his 11. Okay, so he has to put, Dad used to do that, just to put an end to it. Because I am known to talk in my sleep. And my kids would always ask me questions like little brats, you know, to find out what I would say truthfully in my sleep. So, and any boyfriend that ever blah, 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 always said, that's kind of weird, you know, you're talking to your sleep. Anyway, <clears throat> now... But, you know, have you ever looked up why people talk in their sleep? Because they yeah. have unresolved conflicts during the day. So you need to somehow get yourself to the beach and sit I in know. front of the ocean for I two know. hours, yeah. stare yeah. out in the ocean, and then... I do. Before Labor Day, I will. But I have appointments in the Melville office Saturday and Sunday. Okay, but, so, funny too thing bad. is... Too I bad you couldn't take your laptop to the beach and do it I there. I know, but the glare, and there's no Wi-Fi. I've, believe me, oh, yeah. I've tried. Okay, so, I always sleep with my phone next to my bed, just in case... If I wake up at 2.30 in the morning, I will check emails, answer emails, blah, blah, blah. But we're in the hotel room, so it's dark. She gets up to go to the restroom, and, you know, she can barely see, but she hears me talking, and she sees the phone right next to me. And she said I was having a legitimate conversation about work, and she heard the entire thing. So she thought, naturally, I was talking with a client. And so then she got out. I was still, what she thought, talking to a client. Then she tries to go to bed. I'm still talking to the client. She finally goes to sleep. And then the next morning she said, who are you talking to last night? I'm like, what? And I looked on my phone to make sure. I'm like, did I talk to someone in my sleep? And I don't remember. I didn't talk to anyone. 
So she said, I was not, and it was all work things. And Jerry used to work with us three times. So, so she said, something's got to give if I am nonstop talking about work. You're not stop talking in every situation. I can't even get a word in to say hello to Michelle. Michelle is Hi, here Michelle. saying hello. How are you? We love Michelle. Well, I, I knew I was finishing up, you know, so I knew you had something to say. I just wish I could see, you know, the people in the comments and stuff. Well, you can if you get yourself a dual screen. That's why I don't use my laptop. I, a I dual like to, screen? Look. <laughs> well, then go on your Facebook look, page. Yeah, yes. all right. Hold open, on. Open that, open that up to your dual screen. Look. It's, it's not really a dual screen. That's your idea of a dual screen. Um, well, my point is I have three laptops and three phones always, you know, within. Well, open up one of them to Facebook Live and you'll see the com then you'll see the comments. Michelle is asking how we both are. I'm doing, personally, I'm doing great. It's Friday. It's um, almost 2 o'clock here in Texas. And right after this, I'm going to run to the grocery store, which is my happy place and do the food shopping and get it <laughs> cook a nice dinner for tonight i love the grocery store here at texas wait uh, what's the grocery store again really what what do they sell groceries what 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 are groceries what am i calling oops sorry i don't even understand what that means <laughs> But I haven't been to, in a grocery store in so long. Ugh. Hashtag great brother Kevin. Who knows how much mm. I work, so he's so kind. Yesterday I was getting crazy amazing signs from mom in heaven. God, I just I love, love, love that. Does anybody else get signs? I mean, these are signs that are undeniable. Oh, and by the way, um, Sunday, if anyone wants to listen to KJOY, and it will also be on our social media as well. Yeah, yeah. tell them what time it airs on Sunday. <laughs> Who the okay. F is up at 7 a.m. on a many Sunday? Of <laughs> me. Yeah. Um, yeah. And okay. many of my friends and colleagues. Okay. Um, and don't forget, we do have dating questions too. That people were oh, trying yeah. to write in. <laughs> oh, yeah. You forgot. I forgot about those. People really don't care about our weekends, Brian. They really, really don't. I think they do, and they don't care about the, the, the questions. Um, you know what? Let's ask that question. Okay? So, right. everybody, you have three choices. One, what we try to do, a combination of answering dating questions, talking about our private personal lives okay so a combination that's one two should we only do dating questions and not talk about our personal lives or three which brian would love don't talk about dating questions at all and only no, talk like about our private lives no i i i I do like the dating questions because I think they're fun and people write them in. So I think we should yeah. honor that and answer them. But I also like to, you know, to, to you know, talk, oh. discuss because people, I want people to ask questions. I want people to say, you know, more, be more involved. Um, um, can I say a funny thing though about KJOY? So again, they were so kind. Especially. Funny? Yes, funny. Okay, so I don't know the questions. Our social media manager sends them to my PR person. Okay, so I get there and it's Brian, the guy's name is Brian today, who is going to do the show with me. And um, as I'm driving, I get a call. Um, it's really not appropriate. God. There's a question in there about sex. Oh, 
Come on, come on. They didn't whisper sex. But, but, yes. Come on. And I'm like, what, what is only, this? Like, only grandmothers do that. Sesame Street? I thought <laughs> I was on Payjoy on Long Island Dating. That's the name of the show. And I can't talk about. Okay, but we could talk about it here. Anything goes on Friday Facebook Live. Whoa. What the blank did you do? Stupid. I Friday just dropped my night, coffee. We, <laughs> you know, yell at each other sometimes just for the fun of it. And I don't even know. Did you even check to see if we were live before? Yes, we were. And you need to delete that because we were. Never. Why didn't you tell me? He was literally yelling at me like crazy. Because you say you, you post that, that we're going to be live at, at, at 2.30. And then it's two thirty four. I I just think that, and you're fixing your hair. That bothers me. You're late because you're fixing your hair, and it's still messy. It's still <gasps> disheveled. What? What? <laughs> I gotta go. I'll be right back, everybody. I'll be back in five minutes. Oh, that's funny. All right. A low blow. All right, ask the tweeting question. All right, I'll get I'll get I a like question. To leave that. Ooh, yikes. Uh, you don't have to do it now. Do it later. Oh wait. How many minutes? Oh, 19 minutes ago. Uh-oh. Four comments on it. Aw. Lou. Who's this handsome guy, Lou, giving me a compliment? Oh, no one saw you. no one saw you. Just me. Yes. That's why we deleted it. Uh, question number one, I don't understand. I don't know. I, I, I have way more people listening when it's just me. Just kidding. Oh. Bye. <laughs> oh, you were able to see that? Oh, you got dual screens. Shoot. I thought when you turned your face, I was able no. to roll my eyes and do stuff. Damn it. Okay. My right, question number one, I don't understand why this is even an issue. I don't, I don't understand why this is even a question, uh, because it doesn't really matter. Uh, what month do people break up most? Uh, I, I don't know. Is there an mm -hmm. answer to that? Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. What Christmas time? Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Scary voice. And oh, wait, my things are coming off, and now my hair is getting messy. What, your hair extensions? I don't have hair <laughs> extensions. It's the other piece of this. Oh. I do not pull as much as you want. Oh, that would be so funny if big hunk kind of came out with a big clip, with a big claw of the big comb claw. Um, how many? All right, I'm gonna delete that. Um, Don't do so, it now. You're taking away valuable live time. Done. It's already... Okay. So, anywho, kidding. I dislike that very much. Brian says it. So, I um, never say any, that. Anywho, yes, you do. Oh. Oh, this thing is so uncomfortable, but I just feel so cool. Well, stop touching it. Uh, uh, hi, I'm from Home Shopping Club in Florida. How is your day today, everybody? If I wasn't a match, if I wasn't a matchmaker, I would want to work at the Home Shopping Club. This bracelet, it's only forty nine ninety five. Retail value two hundred dollars. You need to have this, ladies. Okay, all right. I guess I wouldn't get that job. But all right. So um, the answer to the question is, and this is what I've definitely seen every year before major holidays christmas and valentine's day people will break up a few weeks before and they'll call Why? because they one of the two they have certain expectations for example Okay, we've been going out for three years. I really hope he's going to buy me a ring for Christmas. And then somehow before Christmas, the girl will find out she's not getting a ring. Okay, because she must give hints. And once she hears that, she's like, I, I can't 
stay in this relationship again and not be getting engaged. Same thing with Valentine's Day. Oh, I, I, I just know we've been going out for this long. I just know he's been talking about getting married. It's got to be for Valentine's Day. And a few weeks before, she must, again, give hints because they find out they're not getting engaged. And okay. once that happens, they break up. It's sad because it's right before major holidays. So, but I, I can fix that, but go ahead. Um, I have no answer to that because I, I really don't think there's any significance as to why people break up in, in a month. Um, yeah. I just was watching my one of my YouTube uh, channels. My sub, my have um, you self? No, no, my sub, Oh, I watch that every day. Um, oh my god! <laughs> don't ever ever make fun of me again. <laughs> People say, because Brian will come in and, wa and catch me watching myself on my YouTube stuff, and go, why do you watch that? I could never watch myself. And yeah. I said, oh, I lo love watching myself on camera. <laughs> uh, I don't. I could, And again, I can spot every imperfection, not that I'm not confident. Yeah, that I, I want to get better. I want to yeah. get better. This is why yeah. I watch it. Yeah. Yeah. And or I'll, I'll say, say, oh, that was good. That was good. Uh, or I'll say, well, I shouldn't have said that. Or, right. yeah, I, I shouldn't have had this because this clearly <laughs> was my calorie intake for the day. Oh, God. Blah, blah, blah. All or, right. well, the swimming I did today, throwing out the wind. Really? Was that a That's real a yawn? Please say it was uh, safe. Uh, and it was with a tissue. Oh, blowing his nose. That is so creepy. A white trash background again. Go pick up your laptop and walk into that beautiful dining room. You have a beautiful dining room. I like to keep an eye on Tookie, who usually lays right here, but now she's but not. She's not there. And what are you wearing a ratty old t-shirt for? Uh, what are you wearing what? a ratty old dress for? Ratty, how could you the say seven ninety nine Target special? That is absolutely not true. I believe it is Michael Kors. Uh, so anyway, however, however anywho, I'm sure I got it at TJ Maxx. So, anywho, Can't I'm watching it. my uh, one of my subs, uh, so you know that I people I subscribe to, and they their thing was that they're breaking up. There were a couple who do videos, and they're breaking up. And I watched it, and I was so upset that they're they're ending their relationship, but they're not ending their um, business partnership where they're going to still do videos together. Oh, yeah. They're going to still do videos, but separately now. But oh, oh. it was sad to see when somebody breaks up. I don't like to hear when people I break up. I know. Neither do I. Um, however, it just really means, by God, that that person is not the right person for you. And... <sighs> I believe in soulmates, so you just got to keep searching for your soulmate. Oh, FYI, this ratty-looking T-shirt you claim to be was thirty dollars at the hotel that we went to. So. Oh, at the hotel. So of course I got a million things off the thirty-dollar bottle of Merlot wine, comped the um, five hundred-dollar room for two nights. I called up. But I did get 15% off. You, you were working, remember, as I was finagling and got that. So when I got there, I said, you know, I just don't feel comfortable with that. Okay, Mr. Nelson, we're going to take off $100 each night. I mean, you, know that if, you know that if you pay with a car, you know, like if you play slots and you get the player's card? Too lazy. I know, but they will send you comp rooms. And you won't have okay. to pay other than the resort fee. Um, then I would be like you and go yeah. every month. Right. So I have to keep That's... my addictions in check. So then you'll spend $500 for a room where we spent, we just paid the resort fee of like $16. For no, a because I got 50% off. Then she took off $100 off. And then as the guest caller, the maid, and net right made um housekeeper but, okay housekeeper. Um, they're not allowed to go in the rooms anymore unless yeah. you're 
leave. Unless you right. ask. Yes, unless you ask. Yeah. So I see you. They don't clean up your rooms right. anymore. Right. Yeah. So, oh, and I was with Jerry. It was such a mess. Oh my God, I was going crazy. Don't say that. What if she's watching? I love her. I love Jerry more than life itself. And I oh. said things like, you're going to leave those 10 tissues on the bed there? Oh. <laughs> Our sister is known to sleep with tissues, and Brian <laughs> does it too. Me too. So, and when Bri Brian is making the bed, sometimes he'll pull the blanket over and find like three yeah. tissues in yeah. bed with me. Disgusting. <laughs> or else sometimes when I'm, I, I usually have it in my hand. Sometimes when he reaches over and holds my hands, he gets, he gets a tissue. He gets a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> and per, I know it's there, and I know he's reaching for it. I mean, I could easily be the nice guy and take it away, but I like to leave it there hand. and oh. have him feel it. Haven for COVID. <laughs> but anyway, so I see her passing by. And I see this beautiful fluffy robe on her thing, you know, brand new. And I said, oh, I, I didn't get my robe. And she said, oh, yeah, we don't give them out anymore. And I said, well, for $500, oh, like that. You, you said and, that? Yeah. And she goes, the oh. housekeeper? Yes. And she goes, oh, would you like one? And I said, oh, thank you so much. So I undid it, you know. Um, it's not and, yours to keep, you know. Yes, it is. No, well, it's not. It is. I took well, they're it. gonna charge. You're gonna find a bill, a no, bill no. for like seventy-five dollars on your card. I didn't take it. No one gave it to me. They don't give them out. So anyway, but the point is, <sighs> I'm thinking, wow, it's so nice and plush and you know, fluffy. Plushin. Plushin. Plush and fluffy. Oh, fluffy. The sleeves come out to like here. <laughs> you know, it's like for a gorilla or something, uh, or a man like Triple X, like you or something, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. I actually was going to give it to Kevin yesterday when he came over to swim, oh. and I thought that it's actually insulting if you give that to anyone. It's Huge. I have to recover yeah. from that hurtful comment. I'm joking. Come on. Uh, Five minutes before Facebook Live, he was screaming. Not even what you heard for two minutes, which I had to delete because it was abusive. Don't stop. But it was don't, abusive. Don't, don't, I was not abusive. Don't say that. You're only exaggerating. I was not you abusive. every week. What's wrong with you? Da, da, da. I, I did not say what's wrong with you. I said, you do this every week, and every week for six months, it's always in the same spot. Oh, and you always say, oh, there it is. And that's what causes you to be late. Okay, so anywho, next question. I'm really, I'm so excited to send out so many matches. Um, Denise is, oh my gosh, we love Denise. Um, Denise works with us now. And she is the wife of one of my great guy friends. She's amazing. The clients love her too. The clients love Brian. Um, <laughs> the clients love Ryan. It, uh, oh, everybody, if you could, um, anyone that knows Glenda, Glenda's worked with me for years on a serious subject. Her, um, dad passed away yesterday so the services are in um east meadow tomorrow saturday so you yeah, know very sad whenever we have a team member having a family member die but when does dad died buzzkill yes okay sorry okay i forget why i was saying that um Okay. Anyway, pop didn't happen. Yes, it did happen. I acknowledge it, and, and, and yeah. I'm very sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well, that's what I was expecting, and not that you know. Well, how, can we, how can we go into a question now? 
because we love Glenda. And I said, is it okay if I come? And she's like, oh, what? yeah i would i want you to come so you know it's a nice thing and we're going to celebrate the beautiful life he has had and that now he's with his wife in heaven so okay question okay moving on question number three what one tv show uh they must have hey, Jester, to be... i'll flip what one tv show which which you want to binge watch with with a remark uh romantic partner oh that's a good question uh okay i i have quite a few but you go ahead first um okay so i only watch police shows <laughs> So I already do that and I do it when I'm matchmaking or sending out matches or emails. If I'm not doing the FaceTime with Brian or Denise sits here always and I'm over there. So if I am alone, well, actually the, the scenario is if I was with someone. Okay, so I already, binge and know every single police show episode i know the words to it because i've seen them all multiple times over the years so i would say whatever the man's favorite show is i would like to do that to make him happy but what about a brand new show for both of you how would how would you pick one you gotta find one that interests both of you um well if another cop movie comes yeah you know, there's tons of tons of cop shows you can go you're old you can go well, young you can go recent all the um uh, well first of all i do colombo oh see that's old 70s i do law and order all three of them and i do blue bloods what about brooklyn like nine nine i didn't see that and i that's did a not good one. I tried Chicago something and no, no, no. See, we like um, we like a whole wide thing. We just finished watching Dexter, all eight seasons of Dexter. And, and I hope none of your Facebook friends ever want to start watching it because you gave away the ending to it. I did not. I did not. I purposely did exactly not. Exactly what the ending is based I did upon not. your post. But anyway, it so was. It wasn't, and it. Some of the seasons, I was so mad, I was yelling at the screen. How could those writers do that? It, I, I did not agree with the way that they took the characters. I was so mad, uh, but we only watched all eight seasons uh, because of ninth, the ninth season is coming in November, and it's ten years after. How so, many shows in a season? Twelve. Not- so, twelve. It wasn't so. It wasn't terrible. And they're, you know, 50 minutes or so. But uh, mm-hmm. the first couple of seasons were really, really good. Really good. Uh, and they had, you know, guest stars as being the killer. Um, oh, I like that. Yeah. Um, and every, you know, every season was one particular killer. And uh, he, he, they would try to solve it and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we also like... Uh, we like RuPaul's Drag Race. That's always a fun show to watch. For oh. what? Uh, what? Are they, are they heart shaped? Of course. Looks like a big butt. Oh, gross. All right, go ahead. Um, we like uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. We like Pose. Anybody watch Pose? That's not for everybody. So never heard of it. Yeah, I didn't think that you would like it because they're probably you. They're, you're probably a th- um, they're probably a threat to you. So you know, I don't know. Uh, Fifty <laughs> girls. Yeah, yeah, they are. Really? Yeah. I would love that. <laughs> um, I love when I see a girl that's bitchier than me. Love it. Yeah. This. Um, what else do we watch? Oh, Grace and Frankie. 
with Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda mm. um, and Martin Sheen and that guy from Law and Order. Oh, uh, no. Celebrity Crush. No. What's his name? Oh, my God. Uh, he was one of the lawyers. And I think in the original Law and Order oh, one. The brown hair. He had the Curly bushy eye, hair. the bushy eyebrows. Oh, oh McCoy. Yeah, yeah. McCoy, yeah. He plays you the know, husband, and Martin Sheen plays the other husband of. And they Lily. actually start to fall in love, gay. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, uh, uh, um, what's her name? J and Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin hate each other, but n now they're forced to live together and then they strike up a friendship so it's fun it's you know it's you know lily tomlin i think anything she does is great but anyway my point is that if you pick any kind of show um that you both like and binge watch it's always fun because just watching one after another is fun our family used to always watch this is us together and we would take turns at whose house we would watch it and once though you found out how jack i think his name is died that it just lost all of it i don't think so I, no i don't i don't think so just, i tried to watch it after that but well you weren't watching it when we were all together so oh yeah that's true that's, that's when you moved yeah yeah it would always be the big party and uh you would always talk throughout the whole episode and then five minutes later you'd say wait what happened and then i would yell at you for well you were talking over the answer what so nobody tell her <laughs> and you wouldn't even be talking about the show you'd be talking about your latest find at the gross at the grocery at, 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 <laughs> really at, so, that wasn't the, it department store um anyway all right let's move forward we only have 10 more minutes to go okay, um, out. you know uh, i'm gonna throw this dress out now that why because you insinuated it's cheap looking don't I you always... <laughs> why don't you just sell it on one of those things that you sell things on actually i um gave um Trisha and Nancy, three bags of my clothes as I had to, as I went out to get a whole bunch of new clothes. So I, I love giving my clothes to my nieces. Uh, Michelle said she loved your glasses. She loved your, you. ass, your, your, ass, your ass glasses. Is that what she said? No, I said that. Oh. That's what I said. Wow. <laughs> Great. Okay. So Michelle, I got them. I showed you in black. Then this is pink wait you got several of course i did oh, God. I, I should never buy if i love oh. something i can't just buy one. Oh my so i got God. three okay so look oh. love them. but i checked with my social media our social media manager and he said yes heart sunglasses are in style so then i got these because these look like my real Michael Kors that the dogs ate, uh, except they weren't in horse. And then I liked these. Oh yeah, I like those. I like the uh, um, the other ones too. I went to the eye doctor um, two days ago, get my eyes checked, and I, you know, as yeah. I'm getting <laughs> as I'm getting older, I'm driving and it's getting harder and harder. So. I need to get like distance glasses and I had distance glasses before, but they were um, progressive and I, I just hated that. I hated like oh. looking like that. Never wear progressive. Uh, that says old. Yeah. So I, I made the doctor says, all right, you got to tell them not progressive because that's what they do. That's like the norm. Uh, so the woman is writing me up, and she goes, "Okay, would you like this progressive or this progressive?" I said, "No, I'm, I'm getting two sets I'm of glasses. Here. <laughs> uh, I want a distance pair and I want a reading pair. Two separate glasses. I don't you want them." Wear contacts, and then over my contacts, I wear 
dollar store reading glasses. Good contacts. I asked the doctor, are those readers uh, bad for your eyes? And he said, no. He said they would only be bad if you, um, if your eyes, yeah, if, 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 you, if you didn't need them and you were wearing them, then it would be bad. Well, who would ever do that? Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Um, Any other okay. dating questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got oh, a couple. Shoot, I even have appointments today. But we have to end in seven minutes, so. Okay. Uh, um, how many dates do you go on before the talk? Mm. Okay. In our program, it is always... Okay. Let me take that back. As a dating coach, I suggest everyone go on three dates with someone due to people being nervous and not being their best. So always try to give someone three dates. Now, if you go on three dates and you're having a great time, naturally you continue. If you don't, you know, if you find the person cool but not chemistry, then you'd be friends with them. Okay. But if you're starting to feel the chemistry and stuff, then before you're going to have sex, that's when you have the talk. I would agree. I would. It all depends on how you're getting along. Yeah. If you see what, if you see a possible future, then then you would have to talk as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. If you don't, and you're just enjoying their company, yeah. just keep doing that until you know the time is right. And you always know when the time is right. Uh, number question number five. All the time. Question number five, and if you say five, say that's because I skipped number two. Um, number five, would you date an anti-vaxxer? Never. No, I wouldn't either. Um, <laughs> number six, how long of a distance is long distance dating? Does Jersey and New York count? I, I would say if you want to make it work, you'll make it work no matter where they are. Brian was in Texas. I was on Long Island and, uh, we made it work. Of course we were extreme. <laughs> That I, you know, I, you know, left my job and sold the house. That was an extreme thing, but I'm out of here. That's what we wanted. But if you re if you really want it, you will figure out some way to make it work. So I don't. I would never not date somebody. I I, I would not date somebody because of the distance. I wouldn't let that be the determining cause of not dating somebody. All right, right. What would you say? Part of Brian's moving to Texas is I got to go over his house and he just gave me every single <laughs> thing. Because right. I was so, I'm taking, I'm I was so tired of uh, I was so I want tired this, of packing. I want that. I literally filled my car up with my favorite things of Brian. Um, um, but, <clears throat> okay, so I I you're very lucky okay i don't personally believe in long distance relationships i unless you have to okay you had to i had to yes yes most people on long island there are so many singles you don't have to uh, so why do it that's true i was presented with a circumstance that was uh not in my control we made it work but you know not everybody can leave their job not everybody could sell their house and pick up and move across country not everyone could do that i could i could do that uh because i, I found out <laughs> i'm brian jensen i'm brian yeah. dylan now oh i thought you were mad at me for making fun <laughs> of you you're not you're mad at me because i said the wrong name um <laughs> Uh, uh, number. I have to get a back massage so badly. Oh, uh, okay. Remember growing up, how we had the buzzer for you to wake you up in the uh, morning? Yes. Okay. So, Brendan, we need a buzzer for Brendan. So I can be literally, literally 
at the front of the stairs, screaming up at the top of my lungs. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. Well, I want to go walking early before I start working at 8 a.m. Oh, for him to do it with you. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were trying to wake him up. No. Oh, no, no, no. So, um, so that is, it's hard. I have to scream loudly multiple times, except I think it was Sunday. I knew we weren't, you know, or whatever day we weren't walking to the dog. Talk okay, faster. So, you got two minutes and okay. three questions. So, to go. so because of driving, and it took me and Jerry six hours to get to Connecticut. Don't ask. <laughs> Long story. Frustrating as blank. Why didn't we start with that? I know. Anyway, and then three hours to come home in the pouring, pouring storm, hurricane, blah, blah, blah. So. The next day, I woke up and I'm so sore. And my bedroom, Brendan is one of the bedrooms upstairs. My bedroom is downstairs and all the way in the back of the house. It's actually behind this room. Just to blow your nose now, can you not? You just said we have one minute left. Just hold on to that for one minute. Okay, so my bedroom's all the way back here. And remember, he can hear me screaming at the top of my lungs to get him up to go walking with the dog so i wake up and i'm stretching from the you know the trip of driving so much and normally you know say if someone was next to me i would keep it under control you know my the loudness level but i'm like oh like oh you know like that and all of a sudden Brendan like storms in the room. What's the matter? What's the matter? What happened? I'm like, what? I'm stretching. And then it dawned on me. If he can hear that, and right. I'm all the way in the back, right. he clearly, easily, easier hears me screaming at him, and it takes me multiple times. Right. Enabler, I know. Yes, you are a huge enabler. I also... Mm -hmm. Um, and then they also I, know they also know that they can do this. Both or one? Both of them. Oh, they well, we know both one. know how to far to push you. Brendan doesn't do that, though. You just said he didn't answer you purposely. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. When he yeah, thought yeah, something yeah, yeah. was wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. Um, yeah. All right, we have. All right, it's two thirty now, so I'll give you one more question. I'll pick the best one. Oh, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you for giving me one more question of your time. What do you have to do, laundry? I have to go to the grocery store. I told you that already. I told you I don't know what a grocery store is. <laughs> I know what a five dollar <laughs> store is now. Uh, Shit. I broke uh, piece of crap. They broke one fall uh, on the ground. Done. Ugh. I'm talking about buying multiple things. So when I got this, I had to get it in the red color too. Um, does sickness and health also include mental illness? Well, yes, of course oh, it does. Marriage? Yes, of course it does. You're going to leave yeah. somebody because they're mentally ill? You're going to well, stick with them through what? thick and thin. Well, if they accept to be treated and acknowledge because look men mental illness it's it's nothing to be ashamed of okay there is help out there so get help if you have it but just don't deny it that's where the problem is so i could see someone being married to someone and they're like nope i'm not bipolar you look beautiful fuck you bitch you know, you can't live a life like that. You got to be on meds. So, so I don't know about that. If the person is open to getting well, then yes, in sickness and in health. Okay. Um, I am working the entire weekend. I only have a few days left of swimming at Azalea. I hope 
this weekend is going to be nice. I don't know why. Nice. I don't know why they have to close because the pools here in Texas close after Labor Day too, and we still are ninety degree weather well, all the way you, through like October, November. Well, we don't know that. I don't know why, and the pool is still close. Oh. I'm gonna have to find an indoor swimming pool. Go to LA Fitness. It's like thirty-five dollars a month or something. That's it. I think really? it was. Maybe it was fifty. Uh, do you think I have to wear a bathing cap though? They might Probably. make me. Ugh. Yeah, with the big daisies on it. Yeah. <laughs> and Pat used to wear that. It's bad enough I have to wear goggles, but a bathing cap. Ugh. I can't wait though. The first thing I'm going to do after Kevin's having a Labor Day party, by the way. Yay. But the next thing I'm going to do is get my hair dyed because I can't dye it with swimming every day. You know, it would turn green. So I'm going to get that done. I'm going to get my manicure, my pedicure. Maureen Catherine that says, let's go to F Florida. Oh, yes, and um, we are going back to Mohegan Sun, Maureen and I. When did we say we're doing that again? And then, and had you gotten a player's card, you could have gotten a free room this time. Mm. Oh, yeah, when I put in my $20 and won 150 and said, <laughs> done, I won. <laughs> I'm not going to lose it. Uh, yeah, October, she, October, she says, you're oh, going. Yes. Which, so my birthday. Yes. So we already discussed that we're doing that. Can't wait. Yay. Okay, everybody. So thanks for watching our Friday Facebook Live. Don't forget to answer our questionnaire of, do you want us to keep it as is about half the time dating questions? And the other half talking about Brian's laundry and our personal lives, <laughs> or do you just want personal lives only, or do you only want dating questions only? Let us know, please. So, have a great weekend, everybody. I love you all for watching. Yes, let us all. know because we're going to do whatever we want anyway. Bye. <laughs> yeah, like they're going to watch you after saying that. I'll Bye. Do I'll do whatever you say, because I love you all. Oh, wait, let's do it at the same time. Bye. Have the best weekend ever. Oh, and is it Labor Day weekend? Uh, no, I think no. that's next <laughs> next weekend. Oh, well, it's not on the weekend, though. That's the, that's the it's issue. It's Monday, yeah, next Monday. Yeah, 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 not yeah. not okay. this coming Monday after that. All right, go. See you next week. Have fun. Be careful. Okay. Oh, are you working after this? Uh, I have to go to the grocery tonight. store. And he'll be home. Could you ask Kevin to do your groceries like he does for me, please? No, because I enjoy doing it. If you, It depends on who, what he's doing. Who would ever enjoy grocery shopping? Who enjoys grocery shopping? Out I don't there. think you're going to ever find anyone who does. I enjoy yeah. grocery shopping. I enjoy laundry. Oh. Um. Okay. That reminds me. Brendan does my laundry. So I don't have to go up to... What? I know. It is a little creepy, right? I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. But he just... He, what he says is... He just does it really fast. Doesn't look at anything. And... What? Because it's up... <laughs> It, I know it is a little creepy. I'm surprised that he doesn't do that himself. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't keep those in my pockets. I'm trying to think. All I do is wear dresses every day. So, you know, blah, blah, blah. All right. Best. <laughs> Have the best weekend, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.